No, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Because even like, well, no, and, and when I went into, you talked about how even how anxiety starts yes. in the gut. And then, yeah, I had never heard that. Imagine. And that's one of the things. See, when I went to the doctor, you know, I got anxiety for the first time, I yeah. think 20, 21 or 20. Horrible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I had to go to the emergency room twice, I believe, because I was like, and then, you know, and the, that's what the doctor tells you. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> like, <laughs> you think it's not mental. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm dying, but you're telling me there's nothing wrong with me. And they just give you pills. And luckily, not luckily, but, you know, I took three three times I took the pill. Twice, I felt like, damn, halfway suicidal. Like, it hit me. I was like, <laughs> whoa. I feel like it was crazy. So I, I will tell you a why. Because huh? they give you, the, I'll tell you why. Because they're giving you medicine that's going to help out your brain. It's mm -hmm. for the brain. It's not for the gut. See, so there's a brain and gut connection, right? People, yeah. the scientists have already proved this. Anytime there's an issue with you mentally, most of the time it stems from the gut. Mm. They go in there, doctors go in there, and they give you medicine straight for your brain. They never give you nothing for your gut. Mm. That medicine they're giving you for your brain is making your gut worse, actually. Wow. But if they were to just button down and fix the gut, you know, they call the gut the little brain. Why? Because it has the second most nerve endings than the actual brain and there's already proof that there's a the a gut and brain connection so if you can clean out your gut take probiotics cut out the sugar detoxify your gut you know you will stabilize all those feelings of anxiety you know tension stress depression anger and a bunch of these things that we struggle with and i'm speaking from experience man i was uh i was on um i was never took medication for anxiety but at one point, I was on high blood pressure medication for about eight years. Mm. And then I had anxiety for about three years straight, man, to where I lost two, two of my jobs. I couldn't come out of my room. I would go outside. I feel like this anxiety would start kicking in because what happened was my central nervous system was activating my fight and flight. All right. Yeah, because yeah. my gut, I was telling you, I wasn't going to the bathroom for two or three days at a time. I'm sure I had no beneficial bacteria in my gut. I know for a fact that I had an overgrowth of candida. Once I started working on my gut, getting more probiotics into my gut, taking care of my gut, healing my gut in general, I noticed that my mind started settling down. Once I did that, brother, I haven't had another anxiety attack ever since then. And that's the God honest truth, man. Wow. Right? To this day, I haven't had another anxiety attack because I never let I never let myself get to that point anymore. I don't think I would ever let myself get to that point anymore because now I know what I got to do for myself. I know how my body works. I know what I got to do and what makes my body happy, what to eat, what not to eat. And I think we all should, you know, get to that point where we know that about ourselves. We know what helps us. We know what's hurting us. You know, like you said about the blood type, that has a lot to do with it. Once you learn what affects you, and if you really sit there and dig around and do the work, you can have, you can actually find out what's good for you and what's not. Once you do that, you, you know how to fix whatever issues you, you come across. I think that's where I'm at now. Am I perfect? No, I'm still doing that 80 20 and I do it intentionally because I don't want to be perfect in anything. I want to enjoy my life. I want to go out with my family, drink a couple of beers, have a little bit of ceviche. I don't indulge with no sugar whatsoever and things like that. But that's my thing, right? That's, that's I like to do that with my brothers and family members and all that. Do I sit there and eat barbecue all day and all that? I don't. Do I take care of myself as much as I can? I do. I try it. You know, we got these uh, week warriors and weekend mess around type of people right i used to be one of those people i would do okay in the week <clears throat> i was working i wouldn't eat too bad come the weekend friday saturday and sunday it was over bro i would mess up and be like ah, i already screwed up why continue but the more you can discipline yourself and continue and staying on top of it reminding yourself even if you fall off the horse get right back on it continue doing what you're doing your body's gonna thank you for it in the long run trust me it, it really works and it really helps man